Colin Ross, um, and I'll be presenting on behalf of Golden Shield as Leo could not make it today. Golden Shield Resources is a new junior gold exploration company based in Guyana. We are newly listed on the CSC. We started trading in February of 2022, so we're brand new to the market. As always, I'll be making some forward-looking statements. I suppose the reason we're all here today uh, to invest in junior mining is to find that next great company and that next great opportunity in the junior mining space. And there are three factors which ultimately underpin every successful junior mining company. That's an experienced team operating in a favorable jurisdiction with a proven project portfolio. And we believe at Golden Shield that we have all three. Our team is experienced with a proven track record in South America, most notably Guyana itself. Guyana is a favorable jurisdiction. It's stable and growing with a well-established mining law. And we have a strong portfolio. We have three 100% owned projects, uh, most notably our flagship Maruti Mountain projects, which we published our initial phase one drill highlights, uh, which included 50 meters at 9.1 grams per tonne. We're very tightly held with a capital, with shares outstanding of 27.2 million. Uh, we have a working capital of around 1 million and a average burn rate of, of around $200,000 per month. Fully diluted, we sit at 33.1 million shares outstanding. Looking at our executive team, uh, we're led by Leo Hathaway himself. Uh, he was Ross Beattie's right hand man for over 20 years. Uh, he brings an extensive amount of experience to both capital markets and uh, on the technical team as well. Our technical team is led by Dr. Colin Porter. He is our VP Exploration. He has uh, been working in West Africa for 25 years, most notably for Anglo Gold. But really, the cornerstone of our team is Mr. Hilbert Shields. He's the former VP of Exploration for Golden Star Resources, which had an extensive portfolio across the Guyana Shield. Uh, but he is a Guyanese Canadian and he's based in Georgetown. So Mr. Hilbert Shields, Mr. Shields himself, allows us to be a Guyanese comp company operating in Guyana as opposed to a Canadian company operating abroad. Why has Golden Shield decided to get involved in Guyana at this point in time? Well, in 2015, there was a massive oil discovery offshore um, led by Exxon Mobil. So this has led to really an economic revolution in the country. And this year alone, the GDP is expected to increase by 48.7%. Keep in mind that Guyana does have a small population being under 1 million. So every dollar that goes towards the country does make a larger effect. However, the government has allocated $30 billion towards improved infrastructure across the country, including an economic corridor that will run from Georgetown uh, through the northern Brazilian province of Roraima. It's also a stable English-speaking uh, jurisdiction with British parliamentary law and uh, has a favorable regulatory environment and a long history of gold mining, bauxite mining, as well as diamond mining. And, but what also grabbed our attention was the players in the country itself. Barrick moved into the country in 2021 and opened a country office, but they've also done joint ventures with Reunion Gold as well as Troy Resources. Um, Zijin acquired Guyana Goldfields for $323 million, as well Grand Columbia acquired Goldex for $315 million. So there is an increasing amount of JV and acquisitions happening in the country as a whole. In terms of the geological hypothesis, why we're getting involved is, as I'm sure everyone knows, uh, the greenstone belt in West Africa are the same greenstone belts that are found in the Guyana Shield. Um, however, the discrepancy lies in how many ounces are in West Africa when compared with Guyana. The Guyana Shield currently hosts 110 million ounces to the 275 million ounces found in West Africa. And that's largely likely due to the exploration dollars spent as well as access to infrastructure. In terms of our portfolio, we have three projects, all 100% owned. Arakaka, which is an extensive land package, 176 square kilometers no, located in northwestern Guyana. Uh, it's uh, seen extensive exploration, and we're going to continue that moving forward. Fish Creek is 10 kilometers to the west. It has an estimated 100k ounces extracted by artisanal miners, and it sits in a prolific uh, regional structural zone. But our flagship is the Maruti Mountain Project. It's 50, roughly 55 square kilometers and has a historical resource on, as uh, 350,000 ounces. In March 2022, we released our preliminary assays from our phase one drill results, and that included 50 meters at 9.1 grams per ton. It's important to note that's not a true width, which I'll get into later in the presentation why that's important. But we also had 9.75 meters at 11.9 grams per ton gold. 
Looking into Maruti Mountain, we see it uh, with the mag uh, vertical derivative uh, magnetics in the background showing our property outline. Mazoa Hill is where that historic resource is. Again, 350 ounces, uh, an average grade of around 1.6 grams per ton. Um, but Maruti Mountain provides a large underexplored property and with proven ounces in the ground. The black dots there on the map are targets that we've drilled to date. The yellow are targets that we have yet to drill, but we will be planning to drill in Q1, or sorry, Q3 and Q4. But in terms of near-term catalysts, we just wrapped up our second phase of drilling on the property, it totaled 3,000 meters, um, and we have 12 drill holes outstanding, uh, which we'll be publishing in the near future. But we have those six additional drill-ready targets with high-grade gold at surface that we've already done trenching on, and we have an updated resource expected in Q4 of 2022. So in terms of our phase one drill highlights, again, we see we have 43 meters at 1.39 grams per ton, 9.75 meters at 11.89 grams per ton, and that 50 meters at 9.1 grams per ton. Now, those are pretty spectacular results, but uh, obviously that 50 meters is not a true width. And I want to just draw your attention to the cross section on the right. In yellow, we have the model that was created by the previous operators in which we drill tested in phase one of our uh, phase one drilling. And what we found was that the operators had expected it to be capped at depth. So we drilled across it in an attempt to find a true width. Uh, however, that didn't happen. And we ended up drilling right down the guts of the mineralized system. So in phase two, we came from the other direction. And we just published the first results from that phase two program, which is 33.2 meters at 3.45 grams per ton. Now that's likely more indicative of the actual mineralized uh, corridor at that deposit. Um, so at Mazoa Hill itself, the unit is hosted in QMC, Quartz Metachurt. It's a very distinctive unit. It's resistive. It outcrops across the property and lends itself to exploration. But our revised exploration model and see how it folds at depth really allows it to be open at depth both, both and both laterally. So we've stepped out and are te testing the uh, Mazoa Hill deposit at depth. In terms of our exploration uh, pipeline and how we approach exploration, Mazoa Hill is our historical resource, it's our flagship property, um, but we do have a pathway to discovery through multiple different showings, which we're planning on drilling in Q3 and Q4, but really some uh, prospects that excite us are Kimberly Throne and Success Creek, which are at the base of that pyramid, and we hope to be moving them into the discovery phase uh, in Q3. Um, but really, this just illustrates what we're going to do moving forward through exploration as we discover new targets, we'll move them to the bottom of the pyramid and have iterative exploration processes as it moves up. The Golden Shield growth strategy is based on three pr principles. We hope to expand, explore, and grow. In terms of expansion, we hope to expand the resource both at Mazoa Hill and our other properties. Um, but we also hope to explore uh, Arakaka and Fish Creek and continue to explore those additional prospects on the ground to add value to the Maruti Mountain property. But in terms of growth, we really do hope to acquire additional projects through acquisitions, joint ventures, and strategic alliances in the country in a hope to uh, consolidate a regional belt play. And really what that hinges on is Hilbert Shields, as he has been navigating the political and cultural landscape of Guyana for over 40 years, and he really does give us an edge on the ground in the country. I appreciate your time. If uh, you can contact me at any time, appreciate it.